Hi y'all, happy Monday. Today is Monday. Last night I took off all of the pots over there. Like, what is this? I have never met another person who likes hoarding plastic shit. I need to make some cereal. So I came in here. So we got some lactate milk. So we're going to the gym. Yesterday was supposed to be the first day. But um what happened yesterday again? I was up at 4 a.m. So we couldn't go on the 5 a.m. that we had decided on. One. Two, when I actually did wake up, Mr. told me that he had to drop his friend to work. That ended up taking a while. And by the time he came back, he had to go to the urgent care of the block because he has been um, exhibiting flu symptoms from the other day and has been tripping. Even though I've been treating the symptoms, he's just been bugging. So I told him that I feel like, um, no, yeah, so he's been bugging. I've been treating the symptoms as best as I could or whatever. But then when he was sleeping, I would hear, you could hear like the phlegm rattling, like just like he had a cold and he was snoring and it was bad. So I told him that I thought he should go and like get it checked out so they could prescribe something that's better than the over the counter stuff that we're taking. So he did that and that ended up taking literally all of the day. I was also a bit irritated because I'm like, leave it up to me to make all these elaborate funds and do this. Normally I do not put my milk first because my sister was chewing me out for this the other day, but I wouldn't warm the milk because I don't want to drink cold cereal right now. This is my first meal of the day and I'm not drinking coffee or anything. So I want to warm the milk. So she said what I should do is warm the milk in a bowl and then pour it over the cereal in another bowl. Sweetie, it's not that serious. I'm not doing that. Maybe I should take my vitamins now. Guys, I want to tell you that I figured it out yesterday. I've been taking this for maybe over a week or almost two weeks at this point. And I just figured out that you're supposed to take three a day. Reading is really fundamental. And I did read the instructions, but I just read the part that says for adults, take one soft gel. That's it. I didn't see the three times daily. So I've been taking one only this entire time. So now I have to like take more. And then I have my regular Alive Vitamins. Listen, I had, I also had some iron tablets, but honestly, if I know one thing, it's that iron tablets make you constipated and I already have enough going on with me. <laughs> I feel like all of these together when I just started taking them too, they did make me a little bit constipated to begin with, but I'm not gonna take something that I know is gonna constipate me. Even though I feel like I do need the iron, but like I, I gotta figure it out. So I do have some iron tablets in there. I've just been terrified to take them because I'm afraid of being constipated for an extended period because not cute. This one is almost... The Alive Vitamins is almost out, so I need to re-up before there are no vitamins on the internet. I remember when Kadinka Dink was just a thing and um, I would go to the, the Walgreens or like the Rite Aid or whatever and there's literally the vitamin aisle would be empty just the same way how the toilet paper aisles used to be empty and I'm like this is ridiculous and I've been somebody who was taking um my vitamins prior to kadinka dink you know what I mean but in that time we're all terrified and we're thinking all right we're gonna die if we don't get our hands on some vitamins so let's see what it's given for I could get none anyways and I had stocked up before we went on lockdown and everything but I ran out because this little bottle um, it has 60 in there. I like vitamins that is like 120, you know what I mean? So it's lasting me a while. Anyways, I'm about to watch, um, I'm about to watch it, but it's, oh, it's 9.56. This man should get here sometime after 10, maybe closer to 11. I'm not really sure. So I just need to get this food in my body and so it could like start, my body could start processing it before he actually gets here. So we're going to do that and I'll come back later. I haven't gone to the gym or worked out in a long time. And even though I said that I was going to start doing some at-home workouts, don't listen to me. I didn't do that, you know? And so 
I know that today's workout is gonna kick my butt even though I'm gonna just be walking on the treadmill but I'm also gonna do when I do do that initially when I started I was doing it for 30 minutes and I was doing um, 12 incline three speed for 30 minutes now what I do is I go back and forth you know so I alternate I incline um, at the same 12 sometimes then when I feel like I'm it's too much pressure on me then I, I decline and you know I go back and forth with the speed based on how my body feels because I want to make it to an hour because you know I'm not gonna go there and just and I mean I very well could but I feel like for me um, I really feel good when I work out and yes it took me a very long time to get into the gym but I really feel good when I do work out even if it's walking on the treadmill Hi y'all, so I ended up going to the gym. It was really, really good. I spent an hour on the treadmill, an amazing hour, honestly. But I was so beat when I came back. I don't know if he was as tired as, as I was, honestly. But I felt like I had been put through the literal ringer. I was so tired. So I took my clothes off and everything and I was just laying there for a minute. And this is two hours later, almost three hours later. I was out like a light, so tired, but honestly after the workout, I felt absolutely good. And that's always the thing, right? Ever since I started going to the gym, I realized that yes, sometimes you 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 feel extremely beat when you work out, right? When you're doing it, it feels like so much, but afterwards you feel really, really good. Really good about the workout, really good just about everything in general. And so that's always one of the things that kept me going back when I have. And him too, because he's always like, you know, we should really go or whatever the case is. I have this little protector for my, my watch face. And right now it's very discolored. I have another one, but I do not know if I know where that thing is, honestly. So I'm gonna look if I can find it. I'm gonna repair my nail. And I feel like that might be all for now. But um, I just wanted to pop in and update you guys. I did indeed go to the gym and it was an amazing gym day. But now we're here. I have this wig and I literally love the wig. I feel like I need to repair it too. But um, I need like smaller thread because the one that I use, every time I put it on, it like kind of like hurts me. So right in the front, so, like it's just not seamless. It's not flush. And I really don't want to have to change the frontal again because I actually really like this frontal that I put on there. I do not know what I'm going to do. Cause I'm also not in the business of making another wig again. I'm not trying to do all that. But then I have this little one that I bought from um, somewhere on the internet and it just seems like there's just not enough hair in there. When I put it on, it looks so sparse. So maybe I'll have to just find a wig and um, add some hair into this. But I have a few things that I have going on here. So I'm gonna find that short one to see how it fits. I had ended up cutting it last year. So I don't know if it still fits nice and seamless and I need to find this thing for my watch and I need to repair my nails and cook. It's four o'clock right now and I need to cook within the next <clears throat> two, three hours. 